All right, guys. Hey, it's Lenny at the Pink House. I told you guys I would be coming back today to show you how I do my um, hair uh, with the curl mix method. And the first thing I did, because I haven't done it in a while, um, is I trimmed my ends. My ends desperately needed uh, to have a trim. And so uh, probably a few little more pieces that I didn't gather up, but this is basically the trim uh, from the ends of my hair. And so uh, the beauty of Curl Mix, it does promote hair growth and it helps your hair grow. So you can do just what I did, a self trim. Um, I had been putting it off, putting it off, thinking I was gonna uh, go somewhere and get it done. But I was like, you know what? Before I uh, put product on the day, I'm going to uh, do a trim on my hair. And so that's what I did. Um, and so my hair is still wet. Oh, okay. This is a piece that fell off. Okay. So I was like, I thought it was some more, a little bit more. But, um, yeah. And so, you know, I had just gotten uh, these scissors from Walmart. They're really sharp. Uh, I think they're Carnier scissors, uh, you know. And, um, yep, like 12 bucks or whatever, but they're very sharp. So, you know, and you're just doing just the ends. And so now I'm getting ready to... Um, saturate my hair some more with water because what curl mix helps to teach you is that the only really true moisturizer is water and so it helps you to really um understand uh natural hair um and how products work on natural hair because a lot of you know i spent thousands i mean thousands of dollars on this system that system all kinds of products that's supposed to promote moisture or what have you and what I actually found out is because of the ingredients in those products that um, it was actually blocking moisture from getting really deep into the hair shaft um, you know and so it was working against what I was trying to do with my hair and unfortunately it's a marketing thing because that uh, continues um, for the market to keep promoting this product as a moisturizer, that product as a moisturizer. And you get it, you're not satisfied because you still find that your hair is not having uh, the moisturization that you're looking for. And so, you know, it's just a vicious cycle. So you buy this, you buy that, and you have a ton of uh, products. And so, but I started using um, the Curl Mix system in July. 2022 and I can honestly say uh, I love it I love uh, one of the key things the reason that I love Pro Mix is that I have a healthy scalp and I used to suffer with um, psoriasis in my scalp I would have flare-ups or what have you and I mean my oh I would hate, I would hate. and I can honestly say I have not had um, a flare-up since I started using this product and that's what I like. It's the uh, benefit of a healthy scalp. Because if you have a healthy scalp, you're going to have healthy hair. And so, uh, what I'm going to do, I guess I can use the same clips that I want. Well, no, because it's got little hairs on it. Um, is to section my hair off and do it section by section. Um, and the curl mix is a four step system. So, I've already done step one and two. That's the shampoo and conditioner. And I've already done that. Uh, in the bathroom in the shower and so oftentimes uh you, you have to a lot of times people that use curl mix they will do all four systems in the shower but there are a lot of us for various reasons like i have really bad knees and i can't stay in the shower that long um you know um that just can't and so you don't have to do it in the shower um but you just have to have a constant source of water um with you so a spray bottle or what have you so that um you can easily rehydrate your hair if you feel like it's starting to dry before you finish your process and so like i said the basic uh system with curl mix is a four step system and so i'm just gonna section my hair first and then i can uh really get into it's a four step system the shampoo the conditioner and then it's what's called step three is a moisturizer and then it's the gel and then the gel 
the curl mix is not like any other gel you've used before because we're all used to you know like the um the olive oil gel the flaxseed gel um the argon oil gel um and because that's, that's that let me tell you that was one of my favorite 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 gels was the argon oil gel and um I love the cast that it gave my hand. The cast is the firmness of, of the hole from the definition that you get um, on your hair. And so I, I, I loved it. And, um, but uh, what happened is again, it was locking out moisture from getting into my hair shaft or what have you. And um, so, you know, for me, I was just excited to find something that, um, to treat the condition of the scalp and that is what has been so important and my friends and family members is like they're all shocked because I never really keep this much hair on my head so they're all shocked that I'm letting it grow because it's growing like weeds with the curl mix and so I told them yeah now I'm going in the other direction so I'm letting it grow but um and that's why I I'm you know had the confidence to even trim my own hair because it, it, it's going to grow. It's not like it's not going to grow. And um, and as you can see uh, from what I showed you, um, you know, it's just, if you can see that, um, just a, a little bit of, of the ends where that, where that curl was at the very end of my hair. Um, that's the piece that I trimmed off. And what that'll help is the hair uh, bounce back and, and, and do what it's supposed to do when I put the other products on. And so, like I said, um, but the gel to me is innovative because it's it's just a different gel. It's not, it actually, um, I don't have the shampoo and the conditioner with me, um, but this would be step three. This is the moisture, moisturizing, moisturizer, avocado moisturizer. And this scent is Mango Magic. I'm trying to get the, I guess I can't I'm trying to get you to see it like this in the light. Uh, it's too bright. Or maybe if I shift it a little bit that way, that might make it better for you to see it. Yeah. So this is the um, the moisturizer, and then this is the flaxseed gel. And if you can see, I'm trying to yeah, see the consistency is like that of a lotion. You know, um, yeah, and I'll let you see it on my hands when I start to use it. Uh, yeah, and so that um, was interesting because I wasn't used to a gel um, being like that. And so, uh, you know, when I started, I couldn't even do what I'm doing right now, like section the hair to work with it section by section. My hair just wasn't long enough for that. Um, and like I said, that was just in July. And so now I can section it and um, work at it, work on it section by section. It is definitely not, I will say this, if you're looking for a quick hair day when you do your wash day with your hair, <laughs> um, you know, it, it's not the thing to do when you uh, don't have time to like do every step, or do you know what have you, so that you can have your hair looking the way you want it to look. Um, so yeah, it's definitely something that you. I mean, you can get it down. Um, now, of course, this is gonna take me longer because I'm trying to do it and talk at the same time. But you can get it down. You know, as you get used to doing the method, but it does take it. It does take time. It, it definitely isn't a quick wash your hair and go and um and that's what this method is designed for for the wash and go you know before like i said my wash and go consisted of washing my hair and then um slathering the, the gel that i love um on my head and i mean it made my hair shiny beautiful you know what have you but it i still was having the other issues with my hair that um I wasn't attributing it to the health of my scalp. You know, I wasn't really uh, thinking of, that's why I was having some of these issues. But um, 
as I got. And then one thing I like about Chromex too, they have a community on Facebook where you can uh, become a part of the community and it's just learning. It's just women uh, all with natural hair, learning the process and, and helping each other as we go along in the journey. You know, because when you first start using the system, you're going to have a learning curve, one, to get your hair adjusted to the clean products. Curl Mix products are all organic, um, natural products. And so um, your hair, if you've been like only natural for a short period of time or just did the big chop and just going natural, um, it's going to take a minute for your hair to, one, get adjusted to the products. Uh, you know, the hair is like, what's going on here? What do you, you know, um, because if you've been 30, 40 years uh, using, getting perms and, and all that kind of stuff and using all the products that we used to use, um, it's going to take your hair a minute to get used to these clean products. Because a lot of women um, that are in the curl mix group have even said that uh, would help their hair to better adapt to the curl mix products is that they ended up having to do a, a, um, a clay wash to their hair to really uh, get all of those old chemicals and things. Uh, once they that, it uh, hair receive the natural products that Curl Mix has and respond well with it. Uh, and, and I like it because women who have, just like me, I'm learning the products, learning the system. Every month, they have a master class. And what the master class is designed to do is to take um, an ordinary woman who's been using Curl Mix, uh, learning through tips and tricks and what have you, and develop a system of how it now works for their hair. They use one of them as coaches, and then they coach you through a 21-day system to help you uh, learn and understand the Curl Mix method. It takes 21 days to really get a good understanding of the method, um, you know, in order to master the process. And so I have done or participated in a masterclass ever since I signed up. So I signed up in July of 2022, and I have been in every masterclass since. Um, and it's wonderful because each class, number one, is a different coach for each class and each coach has their own way of doing, you know, doing the products. They have tips that they share with you. And so, um, you know, it's just learning. And then you meet women from all around the world um, who are uh, using curl mix. And so you get their tips. Uh, you know, you may be uh, new to it. And like I said, just coming out of a perm and there's somebody in there that maybe this is their third master class and is going through something that you're experiencing now that they can share with you what they did so that they wouldn't, uh, you know, give up and get frustrated and go back to perming their hair with them. Because like I said, it is a learning curve. You do got to get used to it. But the women in my household, we have always pretty much uh, had natural hair. We've always like in the summers and stuff, always cut our hair very, very short. So we were always used to dealing with natural hair at some point, even though there were some years when I was younger, I permed and all that kind of stuff. But I just didn't, it just got too much, I didn't, you know, and I didn't like how it was starting to make my hair look. And so we are, um, that part of it wasn't bad. You know, a lot of people, a lot of women, it, you know, it takes some, some carrots, you know, mustering up some carrots to, to say, okay, uh, like I talked to a girlfriend today, um, want to go natural, you know, thinking about it, debating it because of, um, you know, all the things that's in the news lately about the chemicals and perms and stuff, the correlation between that African-American women and certain types of cancers and, you know, and so, um, you know, it, it doesn't, especially if you've had your hair uh, straightened for so long and, and used to that look, but, um, you know, we'll see if she does. But like I told her, I said there is support out there for her if, in fact, that's what she decides to do. 
not just you know with me but like i said the group the curl mix group because so many of your questions and stuff will be answered in that master class group um and so i would i would encourage anybody to now the master class groups you have to join by a certain time at the beginning of the new month in order to get into that group because they make it a private group uh just for everybody who signed up for that month but they have a main curl mix uh group that's on facebook that you know anybody can join especially if you're curious about the product because there on that group it can take you to uh, videos that will link you to videos on youtube that will really get you to see um what curl mix is all about um to look at the um the founders the people tim and kim who uh develop curl mix and then just um you know take it from there but at least you can get some information so again now that i have all of these sections and um start first And I should have did that on my whole head before I sectioned it, but I'll just do everything section by section. And this may take me a minute, so I might not be recording all of it, but this will give you a basic idea. So I'm going to take this section here that I just took out of the clip and I put on, so this is a a leave-in conditioner that I'm putting on and uh, making sure it's yep just making sure that it's on all my strings and using the three row three row comb to get it in there But anyway, and so yeah. And actually, I tell you, I will tell you one of the things I've learned too is that it almost becomes like a, um, a spa day for your hair uh, for you to spend some quiet time uh, with doing your hair. And again, this is the I'm putting on the anti frizz luscious lotus leave in conditioner. And so, yeah, so I'm only using that amount for the side section of hair that I've taken out. Um, in these clips. I'm going to have to clip another one because it's going to come back up for it. Uh, there we go. Yeah. And so, I want to go from once you have it on your hair. I'm, going from the root to the tip and then I want to take my comb and make sure I have it to work down to the ends and you can see the curls are popping already the definition is coming through and that is in part two uh, due to the trim uh, and that's just from me putting conditioner on my hair of it is feeling a little dry. Uh -uh. We just can go at it as you want it. I'm gonna lock that moisture in in the water. So working that in and then get me 
leaving. Look at that. That's just from leaving. <laughs> you know, the definition of the curls is just really popping. So that really helped you see how trained your hair uh, gets from the product because it will not, now I will tell you this because I don't want you to think, it will not create curls in your hair. What it will do is help you to see the curl pattern that you have. And so it really helps you to uh, fall in love with your hair in the natural state that it should be in um, as you would want one. And so it will just define that curl pattern that's already in your head. It won't create, it won't create curls when there is no curl pattern. And so it's just gonna bring out your natural uh, curl. And so again, just from the root to the tip, making sure that's hydrated. And then take some leave in. And I'm gonna take my little coat brush comb to make sure I get it to the ends. Yeah, look at that. The definition is really coming through. Mm -hmm. and so. Yeah, so you can see it's really hanging on. Emulsifying it in my hand before I work it into my hair. Is what I needed. Mm -hmm. Soaking wet. with me in my hand <laughs> me in the curl mix and so you can see I'll just see the definition wow you can see the curl definition and this is just from the leave -in. so that's not even the moisturizer and the, um, the gel this is just putting leave in on each section Mm -hmm. 
Doing a video, real life. Doing a video. Yeah, you say something. You said something. There. <laughs> That's okay. Shit. So then the curl. Oh, the curl mix method. My hair, and especially now that I've done a trim. Clips losing everything. So again, you're going from root to tip with the water, and now this is leave-in conditioner. And again, I'm going to work that in from root to tip.
chicken, you emulsify it, you then start to work it in. You hang it. I think I got the death panel, so then I'll start here. And so, again, just working that water in. That water. And then, twisting. I'm oh, not twisting. Emulsifying. You give the water, you're working the product in from the root to the tips. And then you just want to make sure and this helps to make sure it's all coated. Wow, and that bounce back is really great, and that's from that trim that's bringing back like that. Yeah, that's really great. And the other thing with the curl mix with the master class, if you sign up for the master class, you get 20% off the start, a starter set. You hear my cat talking in the background. Uh, she wants some vittles. Um, follow the GG around the feeder. So again, we don't want that leaf pad. takes the fear out of uh, you know doing your hair and all that stuff because you get used to um and, and and it's you know our natural hair is unique like we're unique as individuals so nobody's hair you know is going to be exactly the same uh you know so you encourage not to compare yourself with nobody's 
else's hair, but you can look at people that, that look like they, they have the same texture or what have you of hair as you do and ask that person questions like, what did they do when they started, first started with girl mix and all that kind of jazz. But um, it's a it's a journey. It's some women that, um, I mean, wow, just seeing where their hair is now from when they first started, it's just, it's just a beautiful thing uh, to see. And Kim herself, if you look at the Curl Mix founder's story on um, any of her, one of her videos on YouTube, she shows how um, her and her husband were college uh, sweethearts and um, she was so frustrated with her hair and stuff, relaxing and everything. And he gave her <laughs> uh, the big chop pair of uh, kitty scissors, I think, uh, but chopped her hair off. And she decided to develop um, some products for her natural hair. And so seeing, uh, you know, what she developed as a, it came out of a necessity for her hair health in growth or what have you. And um, it's just uh, blossomed. And, you know, and it's based out of Chicago. Their warehouse and everything where they produce curl mix is in Chicago. And they just, this um, past, I think it was October, if I'm not mistaken, had like a gala. Um, and it was open to all, like, you know, all Girl Mix customers and stuff could purchase a ticket to go. Um, but, um, you know, it was really, really nice looking at the pictures that they shared and um, seeing like all of the coaches uh, come together for it, uh, many of them. And uh, Curl Mix did did just uh, rebrand. So it used to be a light, uh, te not teal, it used to be a light, like turquoise uh, color was the brand. And now oh, I have some of the uh, newer um, items. So now the branding color is this color green. Isn't that pretty green? It's like a, a teal deep teal green or whatever and this is a paddle brush this is a really nice paddle brush and so this was a, a wash stay bundle um, this is a detangler and it also helps distribute the product in your hair and then you had um, there were two combs that came with the set a wide tooth comb a rat tail comb and then as a bonus you got I don't have here. Uh, you got these clips, uh, some clips to help hold the hair, and also a, um, a cape. And so, uh, you know, and those styling tools really do help help your hair and everything. Um, ooh, ooh. So almost done. I think I just got one or two more sections to go with that leave-in and then I'll just start the process over with then putting in um, the moisturizer and the gel. And so a wash and go system consists of the four products in the four, the Chromix method is using those four products in that order. Step one, step two, step three, step four. But many people uh, have found that they their hair responds better to what they call a reverse wash and go. And that's that you do step one and two, but then you reverse it and put the gel step, which is step four on, <laughs> little hands from my trim, before you apply the moisturizer, which is step three. And, um, and I've done that too, and it works well too. It just depends on what your preference is or what have you. Um, you know, but some people feel like they get more definition, more whole when they uh, put the gel on first. And, uh, you know, and like I said, they just uh, rebranded. And so they've come out with the Masters Collection uh, because they had, I don't know, I think it was like four different... Uh, I want to say uh, holes or 
like it was fragrance free. You had lavender, you had vanilla berry, um, I think lemon, watermelon. I feel like I'm missing one. Uh, that was the regular line that people used to start out because lavender is usually most people when they signed up. Uh, lavender was the one that they were showing so most people would get the lavender system to start and because uh, that's how I started too with the lavender system but it was like once you got it because each basically the, all the systems do the same but each fragrance or flavor has like a little extra to like say prime example the watermelon is good for promoting hair growth so that system was good for promoting hair growth whereas let's say and I hope I don't get it wrong uh vanilla berry uh maybe is good at promoting strength in the hair and so it was different things like that uh to distinguish them and then they also have what's considered um called curl mix fresh and that's why when these products excuse me, that you see me using that I show you may have seen the word fresh in it so curl mix has items that go through a little store online called curl mix fresh and those are um, specially crafted uh scents and stuff like this is mango magic I love how this does my hair uh, and they have uh, a bunch of scents uh mango magic uh, Blackberry Boost, Brown Sugar Baby, um, The Mint, uh, Pumpkin, Posh Palm. And so all of these, uh, and it's just a little extra for uh, whatever the particular scent is that it will, uh, you know, provide. But um, and so I love the hole that I get for my curls with the... Uh, my own magic uh, line and that's from the Chrome Express so on their website those things you don't get like you see the basic systems but those are um, once you get used to the systems and stuff okay I think I um, have successfully got leaving everywhere so that's done get my hands cleaned uh and we're gonna go through and start oh, now step three and step four another thing i'd like to uh, you know because all of our hair sheds but i love how i've watched uh the shed uh on my wash days decrease to being smaller and smaller each time and so that's been beautiful to see as well and so i guess we're gonna start here i i typically start from the front to the back and so this is my moisturizer and so i'm gonna take it down may spray it with some water and then i'm gonna take There we go. And so that comes out like, you see how my, yeah, like a, it's like a cream. And so I'm emulsifying that, but that. You want to um, try to get the right amount of product because you don't want, like, when it dries for there to be flakiness and stuff like that. And so that is my moisturizer in that section. And so again,
and it's slippery. <laughs> the other thing I like about this product too is that like, say if I had, um, because they have a fragrance free line too, because some people are sensitive to scents. And so say um, if I had, because that's what I use. That is the step one and two that I use with whatever system three and four I'm going to use. I use the um, fragrance free shampoo and conditioner because uh, it go, it'll go with any line. It's fragrance free or whatever. And then I just normally, so I keep, Step one and step two, uh, conditioner, shampoo and conditioner, and then I use whatever other scent system I want to use. So I started out with step one and step two, shampoo and conditioner, but now I'm putting in mango for. Uh, my three and four. It says these are the little, the uh, shorter bits of my hair. Let's go through that whole roll across. Yeah. And again, when you pump it out, you then emulsify it. And then, again, root the tip. Even though a little hair. You know, root the tip. Mm -hmm. yep. Emulsifying it. I didn't realize my hand was down low, so when I'm saying that, you're not seeing what I'm doing. And I'm just raking it through. And you can see how this is called. Uh, I mean, this is raking it through. Or if I took it piece by piece, that's called shingling the hair. And so you can really see. Uh, the process, you know, and uh, and then to set it, because now when I do this wash and go, now I'm taking my time with it or what have you. Um, the way you set it, if you use a diffuser, uh, so that you can set it. I've never totally diffuse my whole head to dry because it would just take too long to me. So I usually set it and then let it air dry the rest of the way. find it and we can see how that looks and then I guess it. My fingers making sure and normally I will say this because I've learned from one of the other coaches that normally when I'm doing this I have gloves on because um, we can damage our hair by manipulating it without gloves because our nails can cause us to get split ends and stuff like that. And so that was, so it's little tips like that too that you learn in the curl mix group because that was one of the coaches who encouraged us when we doing our hair or what have you to have gloves on. 
And for the most part, I, I normally do, but I forgot them. <laughs> and I wanted to get started because I didn't want this to be real long. I knew it was going to be longer than normal. definitely can uh, see the difference in my hair because of the trim. So that is definitely one of the things too that um, when you uh, use a curl mix or whatever, it they encourage you to do a trim. I mean Layla, <laughs> that's the other thing. They encourage you to name your hair and so my hair's name is Layla and Layla is showing out and I don't even have the last step on yet. So I'm glad I did decide uh, to do that trim today. Looking good, good, good. So we got one last step to go. And if you notice, whenever I finish uh, with one uh, step, I thoroughly get it off my hands because it's interesting. It, the steps go in layers, but they don't mix. So like I wouldn't mix the gel with the moisturizer and put it on my hand because you won't get the results that you would get when you do it uh, like you're supposed to in layers. Um, so, okay, so now we're gonna move that out of the way because I've done that too. <laughs> Had the wrong bottle and been confused and put the wrong thing on my head at that time. Okay, so we're back to, to here. And we are now gonna and once you put the gel on mm, you messed that up. Once you put the gel on, you don't manipulate the hair anymore. Once you get it set the way you um putting the gel on, then it's no more of that manipulation like you saw me do. So once I, and this is, I don't know if you can really see what the gel looks like. Yeah, see that, isn't that awesome? And so then again, just like I was doing the, I'm gonna put it on the hair and make sure it's coated. Let me 
these clips. shingling well that I'm raking it through but when I hold up individual strands that's called shingling mm -hmm. and as with a moisturizer you're doing the same thing from the root to the end So you're just trying to work it through. My arms have gotten, I'm gonna be honest, a little tired. So again, I'm glad that I did do the trip because I can see Layla is definitely receiving these steps well. And Sections by sections really helps the application to be uh, better, better applied. If you use the right amount of product uh, when she dries, if you see like white specks or stuff in your hair because of the product, when she dries, it'll dry clear. It won't be, you know, unless you use way too much product, then you may have some flaking or what have you. But um, yeah, 
think later it's going to be good once she dries. But uh, yep, this is the curl mix method. Okay, this is, I'll let you see. Yep, and then uh, I'll take another picture or something during the week when you can see, you can see it uh, really dry. But that is Girl Mix Method. And uh, that's the four steps. I'm trying to get all this. On the hair. <laughs> All right, guys. I think so. If you're thinking about it, if you're debating uh, whether or not curl mix is for you, this uh, shows you how I've um, been using the curl mix and the benefits I've seen uh, with my hair. I'm so pleased with the trim I'm having. Uh, so I'm gonna wash my hands and then go use my diffuser and so i hope you guys enjoyed this as i enjoyed making it this definitely was a process but i'm glad i did my first trim on my own and um so i'm excited about that and i can definitely tell already the benefits of having done that trim so it looks better uh it acts better and uh i'm looking for my <laughs> Thing to uh, stop my oh, I'm gonna stop my video. This has been a blast, guys. I enjoyed this. Okay, have a good one.